Lock him up. Trump needs only four hours and 25 minutes to violate the terms of his bail, released on the proviso that he not, quote, obstruct the administration of justice, especially by, quote, posts on social media or reposts of posts made by another individual. He goes on social media and calls District Attorney Willis a radical who campaigned and raised money on this witch hunt that's all about election interference. Then he mocked the bail. Judge Scott McAfee, you wrote this. Trump already broke it. He's already going to be inside your jail Thursday. Keep him there, Judge. Enforce the goddamned law. It has been literally eight years since the Trump cult remembered that even if they don't have any morals, they still have to worry about getting caught. And soon or late, the remaining sane people in this country are going to have to reestablish the rule of law, or to call it more correctly by the name that Trump and his cult actually perceive it to be, the rule of being afraid you'll get caught and sent to prison. We are going to have to take the action without fear of taking the consequences. Or the very meaning of law itself in this country will not just be erased, it will also be rendered impossible to ever restore. Oh, and this reminder, Trump is out on bail in three different states and the District of Columbia. And his henchman, John Eastman, his constitutional ambulance chaser, just had to get a pause in his California disbarment hearing so he could go attend his Georgia bail hearing. All that and more on the Tuesday Countdown podcast, available now wherever you podcast, and also now available on YouTube.